the mean right so the so we finally define the mean of the random variable after that example if i have got a random variable whose values are x1 x2 x3 xn and i have got their respective probabilities that means i have i have e1 p2 p3 pn then we define the mean mean mu or we also call it expectation of x we also call it the expectation of x it is defined as same same synonyms xi pi that's all and i have expla explained why why we do that okay why is it defined like that fine upon summation pi but that is one hmm? upon summation pi upon summation pi which has become one so hmm? summation summation pi is always one because because your random variable acts on all the points on the sample space that's fine okay fine now now we see that mean is mean is not able to bring out the variability you understand what is the trouble the trouble is the trouble is this what is the trouble the trouble is the trouble is this okay <coughs> these are the scores hit by a batsman suppose suppose in say four innings he hits 450s okay so his average is 50 okay his average is 50 this is batsman a <coughs> now there's another batsman b who in two innings hits zeros and in other two he hits 100 what's the average 50 50 okay now why average is a dangerous thing now suppose you are a you are the manager of the team or okay say 20 runs are required which batsman will you like to send a a the trouble is the trouble is he also gets out at zero he is more consistent okay he is more consistent so mean hides these variabilities within the data you understand it covers up the the variabilities inside the data so this fellow so so you would like to send him not batsman b okay so for a given data where i have got the mean i'd also like to have the variance you get it what is the variance now how do i define the variance then hmm what is the way in which the variance should be defined see you have got the mean here you've got the mean here for both of them the red dot is the mean right for batsman a who scored 450s in four consecutive innings average is 50 for him who scored two zeros and two centuries again the mean is there now the way, the, the the variability of this fellow from the mean okay the variance of this fellow from the mean is less 
so so what does it tell us what do we do we actually take the score subtract the mean okay subtract the mean square it why do i square it because otherwise what will happen the the average is actually in between so what will it do if you do not square it if you do not make it positive there will be as much negative as you, as will be positive so if you just multiply x minus mu by f i and divide it by summation f i and do this sum you know what what i have done i have the data x1 frequency is f <clears throat> i have gone back to your class 10th a normal statistical kind of thing we do this or, or in class 11th you were taught that right x3 f3 then xn f n so what do i do i subtract my data the actual data from the mean so that tells me how much far away positive or negative he is from the from the average but the trouble is average is actually such that it is as much as much more than the lower values as it is less than the higher values so what will happen if you sum sum just like that x1 minus mu into f1 okay so many data is no so many data have their their variance as this and if you sum them up and divide by summation fi you will get zero you will get zero no let us do that so summation fi is n okay so this is equal to n actually so so let us do that summation x1 huh? f1 plus by summation then x2 f2 plus xn fn this term this multiplied by this minus mu into f1 plus f2 plus fn divided by n now what is this what is this we had defined mu to be summation xi fi upon n so this is actually n mu this is n mu minus what is this sum of all the frequencies is capital n n upon n zero so it will give us in all variable all the variances will be zero so what do i do i do not want those negative variances i square it so for variance you had done what we had done summation xi minus mu whole square why did i square it just to convert all the negatives into positive into fi divided by summation fi there was an alternate formula for this then i i could expand it and something else will also come standard deviation standard deviation is root of variance that's all this sigma square the sigma square that is that is sigma hmm sigma 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 other na acha aisa this sigma sigma this sigma sigma adha na nahi hai Huh? Why are you afraid of statistics? Statistics is something that is a setter that will always fetch you full marks. That's why in IT they do not ask you statistics. Ah, uh, then then you work a bit hard. Statistics is one of the easiest, at least till this level. After that, it suddenly blooms into something. That's a different matter. But so, so you understand that this is how we define our variance for a normal data that we had. Now, instead of that, we have this, and we have just said if I divide this by summation, or or you or you take it out, then what happens? So, so, so if you consider this as if i divide this whole thing by 
summation fi then what happens it starts becoming p1 p2 p3 and then the summation below will become summation of p1 pn so that is one again so a natural thing says that that shear the mean was that Here I define my variance after all this discussion as variance should be should be summation xi minus mu whole square into pi upon summation pi that will go to that will go to 1. So just leave it like that. Fine. So this is how you define variance. So a high variance means what? There is a lot of fluctuation in the data from the from the mean value. Okay. Hmm? Less consistency. If we are talking about uh, in these terms, right? Okay. Now a class which has or, or maybe a batsman who is always getting 50 and this batsman if, if the coach wants to work on them the strategy will be different on both of them. Okay. Maybe he might have some psychological kind of problem getting unsettled and okay. he might have some technical or health, health kind of problem uh, fitness problem is not able to go beyond beyond 50 okay or okay so 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 that's why variance becomes such an important thing to do to understand to have when you are asking for maybe marks of the uh, of the class you should also be asking for the variance because that will tell you what it is uh, in a class of 50 all are getting 50 or 25 are getting 0 and 25 are getting 100 both the means will be the same but the way you have to work on that will become absolutely different. Okay, so there are maybe some very good students and there are some very bad ones. Perhaps because someone is not working on those students who are being termed bad or something. So the whole thing changes, right? The strategy changes. That's why we need the variance and this is how we define the variance. Now, now you see if x gets multiplied with this then I call it E x. So here my variance is also called expectation of x minus mu whole square. The variance is also termed like that. Why? Whatever is expectation. Expectation of x means what? Whatever is inside the bracket you keep on multiplying by p that is the probability and keep on adding it. Correct. Keep on adding it. Do we get the point? So that is also termed as expectation of x minus mu whole square. Fine. And so, so here also you define it as as either that either that or you call it sigma x square okay that's also a notation in 11th we had seen that it was also sigma x square right and this root over sigma x square which is obviously sigma x is called the standard deviation it is called the standard deviation okay that is called the standard deviation now as we had done in class 11th or maybe to a term. Uh, 
But you have done this. You have written it. You have written all of that. So should I erase this? This. Now you see what happens. Based on what we have got here, there is another formula for variance that you can derive. So there is also another formula. If you remember it clearly for variance. If you clearly remember it, we had done the same in class 11th. So what do you do? We have variance of x or this is also termed as variance of x. There are so many alternate ways of naming the same thing, variance of x. Okay. So variance of x is what? It is after all summation xi minus mu whole square pi. Now that is what? What if I expand it? I get xi square minus 2 mu xi plus mu square into pi hmm? xi. Now that becomes summation xi square pi minus summation 2 mu. 2 mu can be taken out, right? 2 mu can be very comfortably taken out. Why? Because, because it is a constant. So it gets multiplied with everything. So I take it out and it becomes summation xi pi. And then this becomes mu square again comes out. So mu square summation pi. Now what is that? What is this? Summation xi square pi. What is this summation xi pi? That is nothing but mu. That is how we had defined the mean. And what is summation pi? 1. That is mu square. So that is mu square. So it actually becomes summation x square pi minus mu square. No? So actually it becomes, actually it becomes expectation of x square is it not expectation of x square means what is expectation of x you keep on multiplying x1 p1 x2 p2 if i say expectation of x square x1 square into p1 x2 square into p2 that is what this is expectation x square minus expectation x whole square Is it not? Get the point? All of you? Expectation x square minus expectation x whole square. Okay? So that is an alternate way of defining variance. So this and this will yield the same values, but this is a bit shorter. This, this is a, this is more concise. Variance of x, which is so many things, which is it's all. Simple. Hmm? So, so we can solve a problem. <coughs> we can solve a problem. Okay. 